गुड आफ्टरनून रवि गुड आफ्टरनून ओके गुड आफ्टरनून सर या गुड आफ्टरनून सुरेश okay so today let's discuss about that what let's today discuss about that what is the problem with javascript and jquery why we are using why we are migrating to new technology right come on we stopped the session on on this point only na yesterday come on friends hmm? yes sir so yes sir yes sir okay so before understanding the things first we need to understand little bit more basic guys okay don't think about that i'm uh, like going to explain total javascript or jquery right just what is that i'm going to give a small amount of what is that overview about that javascript and uh, jquery then then what is that then we will start to understanding why we are migrating in that only i will able to give the conclusion about that why we are migrating uh like uh, with javascript and jquery uh, into the new uh, technologies right come on so shall we start it now yes, okay yes, so yes. yeah so the thing is guys okay so just let's understand javascript right javascript 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 designed by designed designed by designed by what designed by uh um, what is that person name branden h right branden h branden h right branden h branden h designed this like javascript right javascript in 1995 right 1995 so previously we known this javascript right previously we known that this javascript whenever the, this branden h is designed this uh, javascript they given the name as what is that they given the name as a, what is that mocha mocha right mocha previously we known this javascript knows no Known as known as what is that? Known as a mocha, right? Later, later they sorry. Everything is clear, friends. Yes, Ravi. Yeah. So mocha. Yes, so later, 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 later they given name as a name as a, what is that? Live. live script right live script live script live script now then then after then what is that after then what they give in they given the name as a java script right this is the abbreviation later they given the name as a java script previously what is that mocha uh, uh, like uh, java script name is what is that mocha then they given the name as a live script then they given the name as a what is that java script guys okay java script so before the java script because yesterday i said that we are develop like our web web application uh, sorry web concept is there hey akhil sai what are you doing man so Sorry, sir. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. In in nineteen nineteen five, right? But I said that the web web concept is came in the nineties, right? Come on. Yesterday only I explained, right? So if and the web concept yes. is came in the nineties, do the but the thing is, guys, the thing is, at the time how we are like uh, using the scripting things, right? So for that at the time, like. people are using what is that ecma right ecma script one minute i'm stopping the screen because he like yeah no sorry sir yeah sir. 
Now, then what is that ECMA script, right? ECMA script means what is that Euro European uh, European Computer Manufacturer Association, right? So that is what is that that is that is scripting people are using. That is script, right? That is script people are using, right? People are using. But the thing is, guys, okay. The thing is, guys. So one question i'm asking right so so many people is saying that what so many people is saying that what is that java script is what is that client side scripting language right people are saying like this now hmm? yes yeah. so but don't tell guys okay if you say like this in the front of any experienced person right they will laugh on you they will laugh on you now what you will say that like if you if you say that a javascript a javascript is the client side scripting language so that is a wrong that is a wrong javascript are not only what is that is uh, client side language or is client side uh, scripting language guys okay just see this okay just see this okay javascript 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 is a language JavaScript is a language used used to what is that client client side client side in HTML technology right HTML right if if you if if if, 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 if oh. Avish, please mute yourself. I will mute you. Don't worry. So now client side, we are using what is that JavaScript language? We are using what is that client side as a HTML pro, right? HTML, right? In the HTML also. And if you know that, right, in the server side, server side, in the server side, we are using like Node.js node.js in that also what we are using now we are using what is that javascript only right java script only if you know that database database right if you know that database database means what is that in the mongodb mongodb there also we are using what is that javascript only even though, even though, if you know that one animation tool is there, right? Animation tool, in animation tool, animations, right? Animation tool, tools is there. That animation tool is what is that? Flask, flask, right? This animation tool also using what is that? JavaScript only. So if you say that JavaScript is what is that? Client side scripting language, is it correct? Hmm? No, Ravi. No, sir. No, right. So the then the thing is, guys. Okay, if we are using in these many areas, we are using in these many areas our JavaScript, right? Our JavaScript. Then what is the main issue with what is the JavaScript? Then what is the main issue with JavaScript now? We can say we can say friends right we can say we can say what is that browser compatibility issues javascript having what is that browser 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 compatibility issue yeah browser compatibility compatibility what is that pibil the spelling is correct right? Okay, leave it. Consider as a compatibility, okay? Consider this one as a compatibility, guys, okay? First one is like B A L I T Y only. B-I-L-I-T-Y. B-I-L-I-T-Y. Yeah, whatever you wrote first, that's fine. Okay. Leave it, okay? Yeah, I-I-I. Okay. I-B-I. Okay, now fine. 
Yeah, fine, Ravi. Go ahead. Okay, compatibility, browser compatibility, uh, like uh, issues is there, right? Issues is there. If you know that, guys, okay, don't think about that. I'm going to teach what is that more JavaScript, guys. Just what is the problem with that JavaScript and why we are migrating in the new technology? That picture I'm going to give you, people. That's it. Nothing more uh, than else, right? So if you know that, guys, okay, if you know that, like, what is that? Just I'm giving that one scenario. If you know that, what is that? Like window, window, right? Window, window dot print, right? Print in the uh, JavaScript. This is the printing function is there, right? Come on, this is the pin printing function is there. If you run this yes, printing, yes. if you run this printing function, right? In, in the some browser, it will work. In some browser, it will not work. Because every, every browser, yeah, so every every browser having what is that different different what is that engine interpreter compiler uh, these things is a different different based on that browser it's if the like this uh, print function is compatible uh, on which browser on that browser this function will execute otherwise it will not respond so whenever we are using these functions right how we are using now how we are using now we are using the like some if you not know that, if you know that, if you know that, like what is that? We are checking the condition, right? We are just checking the condition and what is that? We are navigator, one navigator, navigator, right? One navigator, one navigator function is there. Then we are giving the application name, right? We are giving the application name and equal equal to then we are checking that condition if then if based on that browser right based on that browser means what is that why we are using this uh, kind of things because this function we know that this function is not for every every browser compatible right compatible so we can say that See, if you know, if you learned, right, JavaScript, there you guys can able to learn these things, right? Because we are going to learn here, what is that? Angular. So because of that, I'm saying that this kind of issues is there with what is that? JavaScript, right? By seeing this kind of issues, by seeing this means what is that? To overcome, to overcome what is that browser compatibility, right? Browser compatibility in 2006, right? John Rusick. John Rusick designed one library. John Rusick designed one library. That library name is what? jQuery. That library name is what is that? jQuery, right? So now, 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 what is that? To overcome, to over, to overcome, to overcome, come browser. To overcome browser, compatibility, right? Compatibility, what is that in 2006, right? In 2006, in 2006, six, what is that name? Per, what is the person name? John, John, John. Rasik, John Rasik, right? John Rasik design one library, a library, library, library for what is that? JavaScript. That JavaScript library name is what? J query, J, J query, right? J query. So initially, right, if you know that the people using the some kind of, if the people little bit know about the J query, they heard about what is that one slogan, right? Write less, less code and write what is that? Write less and do more. Write less and do more about that slogan. J query. J query slogan is what is that? Write, write less write less write less and uh, do more do more right so now but what is that mainly this jquery right jquery designed for what mainly this jquery designed for what is that to reducing what is that the compatibility issue of what is that mm, compatibility issues compatibility issues right so 
reduce 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 the reduce the compatibility compatibility issues issues right issues so but the thing is guys okay but the thing is but the thing is what is that a language and a library can build application but the, still here problem is there right by using the jquery using the jquery we can we can what is that we can build application but that application cannot control the application flow that application cannot control the flow now guys okay so keep these things in the mind now i will explain uh, based on that our browser functionality those things now guys okay so note i'm giving right note note what is that a language a language and what is that library 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 can can build can build application can build application but what is that but they but they they cannot they cannot control control the application control the application what is that flow flow right so now let's understand the things now guys okay let's understand the things just assume that we are going to develop what is that one application using what is that jquery library okay so we are going to develop what is that one application using what is that jquery uh, library so now we are developing one web application now we are developing what is that web application web application using what is that jquery framework sorry jquery library jquery library right library okay so we are going to develop this library uh, this web application uh, using what is that jquery library then what is that we are deploy means what is that we are making this request for this jquery uh, sorry this web application then what next step will happen now what next step will happen now friend it will it will it will this page right this page this page means what is that this application page will load what is that into browser right this application page will load into the browser now okay good so the application page the application page load loads loads into into browser into browser now so i'm giving the steps what kind of steps is happening now guys okay so after after loading this page next step what's happening now next step what is happening now now next step step is what is that page page loads right page loads the loads the static dom static dom right so the thing is guys okay the people is saying that what is that the people is saying that what html is the collection of tags right people is saying that collection of tags come on please respond the people i'm asking yes, you yes. see boss if if anybody yes, yes. if anybody yes. don't, if anybody don't know html right don't sit here because uh, like without uh, html there is no possibility but don't worry uh, we are not going to use jquery uh, in our what is that uh, because here we are going to learn the angular but the thing is i need to explain it here little bit jquery then what is the problem with jquery and why we are migrating in the framework that is that's why i am explaining and don't think i'm much explanation i will give here right so so the thing is guys okay, okay. the th the thing is what is that the people is saying that what is that if anybody is asking what is the html the people is saying that html is the collection of tag means what is that again 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 the people is doing mistake then again people is doing the mistake html is not a collection of tag friends okay a html is the collection of elements right which is the performing based on that different different tags 
this is the answer right this is the answer add tags we are using for the presentation six right say, right body uh, body tag will be there right body tag will be there head tag will be there right but what is that those are the elements guys okay those are the elements don't worry i will show it right i will show it everything our browser will take uh, say right our browser will say okay i'm a not a, a tag i am a element right i am a element okay so now each element is each element is called what is that dom dom right each element is called what is that dom dom is nothing but hierarchy um, hierarchy of what is that hierarchy of tags hierarchy of tags now let's understand the things guys okay let's understand the things now after loading this page after loading what is that page page Mm. yeah pages loads in uh, the static dom right static dom now i'll tell it now i'll tell it okay so here just what i'm doing now this is the image if you guys searching on the internet you guys will find out find it right so this is what is that this is the dom guys okay this is the dom hierarchy this is what is that dom hierarchy this is dom hierarchy and uh, this is what is that bomb hierarchy right bomb hierarchy dom hierarchy means what is that dom hierarchy means what is a document document object module and bomb is bomb is nothing but what is that browser browser object module clear browser, browser object module right so there are two hierarchies is there mean mean what is that parent hierarchy these are the what is the directly interacting with what is that directly interacting with what is that windows so these things these things we are using in the html and these things we are using in the java okay see if you akhil sai i will akhil sai i will remove you this is last warning okay i'm removing you i will re remove you directly again if you do the mistakes in right yes sir because of you don't disturb whole classes right in the session 47 members are there even you are disturbing yourself also as well as uh, 47 members also as well as me also time is important okay if you don't care about that one leave it the season that's it no need to stay here and no need to increase the counting number directly i will remove you if you not control yourself okay so now let's start it guys okay let's start it so this hierarchy is called what is that dom dom hierarchy right this hierarchy is called what is that dom hierarchy and uh, this hierarchy is called what is that bomb hierarchy clear friend whatever oh, whatever left right whatever left this document hierarchy this document hierarchy is called what is that dom hierarchy and it, except this oh, hierarchy yeah. what is that other whatever rest uh, whatever things is left right those oh, yeah. things is called what is that bomb hierarchy right bomb hierarchy don't worry yeah. much things we will yeah. much things in the angular also we will understand understand about these things guys okay don't worry about that right now fine print so now after loading that what is that after loading what is that pages as in what is that load page loads in the static dom then then what is that what is that then if we are using in our application any library like what is that jquery library uh, we are uh, like using or not whenever we are performing the jquery operation come on huh? yes sir so yes, then, sir. then what is that after loading the st page uh, static page in the dom right in the dom then what is that then what is that next step what will happen now library 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 loads library loads into into browser browser right 
library loads into browser now okay fine after loading that library library into the browser then what is that then what is that library loaded but it's not right what is that active friends okay library load whenever we are like our browser is loading right browser is loading means page is loading after page loading what is that our dom is loading dom our dom all dom is loading right this dom will load okay after loading this dom after loading this dom what is that whatever library we are using in the application those library will load right those library will load but in the jquery application i'm talking about the jquery application right then library will load after loading that library but this library is not active friends okay this library is not active so library 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 loaded library loaded but what is that but but it is it is it is it is but it is what is that passive passive means what is that not active right not active passive means what is that not active not active to make this library active what we need to do what we need to do means what is that then browser will use what is that some event to activate to activate this library right to activate these libraries what is that our browser using some event guys okay browser using what is that some event now okay browser using what is that event Yeah. Are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Actually, I'm arranging. The person is not coming. Now, actually, I only stopped. Right. Actually, okay. I'm arranging this one. Okay. So and now, fine. Okay. So after then, what is that? After loading that browser, right? After loading that browser. Sorry. After loading loading library, but the library is not active. Then what is that? What the browser is doing now? What the browser is doing? Browser browser used what is that browser used event events right events events to make what is that to make to make to make the to make the make the library to make the library where the cursor to make the library library active library library active right library active active right after making the library active now right after making this library active now then it will convert this dom right then static dom will convert then static static dom dom static dom what is that static dom is is converted 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 into what is that into converted into what is that dynamic 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 dom right it will convert into what is that dynamic dom now okay so fine now don't worry we will see these things as a practically but if you guys don't know right if you guys don't know jquery don't think but what is the key point to understand the, like what is the functionality uh, like what is the functionality we are developing any uh, like uh, application using jquery right jquery then i can able to convince you people what is that instead of using library then what we need to use then we will move in the next level discussions now guys okay then we will move in the next level discussions now okay fine now guys so here what is that 
I'm just developing one application, guys. Okay, so I'm just developing one application. I will show these things as a practically now. Okay, so don't worry, don't bother about that. If you don't know the concept, don't bother about that. But the thing is, uh, like if you don't know HTML, don't sit, don't sit here, guys. Okay, if you don't know HTML, don't sit. Accept that whatever things I'm writing. If you guys don't know, don't bother about those things, right? Don't bother about those things. No need to bother about it. Now, fine friends, okay, fine. So just simple, I'm taking, what is that? Just simple, I'm taking one. Let's take, let's take sample only, right? Sample, sample.html. I'm taking, what is that? Sample.html. In this sample.html, I'm taking, what is that? Just HTML, HTML, I'm taking, what is that? Head head let's take in the head let's take title 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 now let's take a demo let's take demo now in this demo what i'm doing now what i'm doing now now i'm doing what is that i'm writing one just let's take one body tag right let's take one body tag let's take one body tag itself only right body tag itself only so now fine friends so here what is that here just i'm taking one let's take input let's name only right let's take name let's take name input type okay i'm taking input input type okay input type okay input type okay just here i'm taking what is that input type let's take text name only right text name i'm taking now fine friends okay let's that's it only right now what i'm doing now i'm running this application just i'm running this application okay if you don't know html don't sit again i'm saying okay accept that whatever things i'm writing don't care about that just understand the key point what whatever things i'm explaining that's it okay that's it because here we sit we are sitting here to learn angular not another things guys okay so don't worry whenever like uh, the things will come you guys will catch up the point don't bother about that but html mandatory guys okay html mandatory so now what i'm doing now i'm running this application right i'm running this application now so after running this application now see this is the this input box we got right now what i'm doing now i'm yes, uh, yeah i'm pressing what is that f12 function right f12 function yeah f12 function right now here just let's make this one as a bigger now let's make this one as a bigger now guys okay so here what is that we uh, the control directly came in the body body element guys okay body element see this what is the what what uh, directly our whenever we are inspecting what is showing now elements, element, elements right element. Any, yes, anywhere it's showing that yes, it anywhere it, this body is showing that it's no that, no, no. no right no, no. If we, no. then if we say that we are if we say that this is the body tag right then what is that in the front of experienced person that person will laugh or not <laughs> yes, sir. yes right now fine friends okay now fine okay so means whenever whenever we are making the request what is that our these these are the static dom friends okay these are the static dom means what is that body dom head dom and HTML DOM, right? These static DOM is loaded in the browser or not? This is static DOM is yes, loaded. Sir. This is the, means what is that page loaded, loaded into the, the browser. browser and what is that page loaded the static DOM. This DOM is called what? This DOM is called what is that? This, this tags, right? This tags is called what is that? DOM, right? Elements, right? Elements and this, this is this. Yes, sir. this this tax is called elements and in, in the pair of one element is called what is that dom clear now now means what is that dom is loaded if you guys want to know that okay no worries i 